Hey guys, uh, Rob Teeter here in the Teeter's Telescopes Workshop. Uh, doing a quick video here to show you how to install uh, your new light shroud. Uh, your sewn by Heather uh, light shroud uh, on your telescope. Uh, whether it be one of our telescopes or a different manufacturer, uh, Heather makes light shrouds for pretty much everybody out there as long as it is a four or eight pole truss telescope. Um, so we've had some questions over the years uh, from customers and we figure it's probably time to do a video to show just how to install the light shroud on the telescope, on your truss uh, telescope. So uh, like I said, we've had some questions, uh, people do it different ways, uh, but here's how we would do it, which we think is probably uh, the most simple and effective way to get this light shroud on the telescope. All right, so let's start with the uh, upper tube assembly. All right, so this is one of our 12 and a half inch upper tube assemblies. Uh, but take yours, uh, whichever one it may be, and flip it upside down. All right, so that's step number one. Take your upper tube assembly, take it off the telescope if it's already installed on a telescope. Uh, so you're just holding the upper tube and flip it upside down. All right, and also have it so that the focuser is facing you. So I'll turn this way a little bit. Uh, so the focuser is facing you. You can take the shroud and uh, the shroud will have a patch on it, most likely. Uh, the patch will denote the bottom end of the shroud. All right, so this would be the bottom end. Uh, sometimes, though, uh, we get requests for no patch. So then what you'll have to do is, without a patch on there, you'll have to hold up the shroud, you know, unfold it, hold it in front of you, and see which end looks bigger in diameter. All right, so this end is obviously bigger than this end in diameter, so this would be the bottom of the shroud. All right, so now here's what we want to do. Now that we've determined which side is the bottom, which side is the top, uh, you want to find the main seam. Uh, there's one big long seam that runs the full length of the shroud. You want to put that so that it's opposite of you. All right, so you're standing here, uh, you have the shroud in your hand, the seam is going to be on this side that is away from you when you hold the shroud like this. It's on the other side. And what I like to do is I like to start to feed my hand up through here. And I like to feed my other hand up through here. All right, so now I'm holding the shroud like this. All right. And the seam, the main seam, because now that we've put our hands through it, we've essentially turned the shroud uh, around. So now the seam is facing you. Now the seam is right here. All right. Right here is facing you, the main seam on the telescope shroud, and you're also still holding now the top end of the shroud. All right, so just to show you that again, just so we're clear here, is you're gonna start with the larger end, right, up top, all right, again, small end on the bottom, top, uh, top, again, top end on the bottom, bottom end on the top, all right, so the bigger end you're holding with your hands, the bigger end. And again, the main seam is away from you. And you're gonna feed your hands through. Right, feed your right hand through, feed your left hand through. And by doing that, you've now flipped the shroud over and around. The seam is facing you, and your hands are now on the top end of the shroud, the smaller end, the top. All right, so we're gonna take this, I'm gonna feed it over the top of the upper tube. Let me move this a little closer to the camera here. All right, so as we feed this over the top, we're gonna to put the seam, the main seam, exactly 180 degrees around from where you're standing. The main seam's gonna go over on this far side of the telescope. Right, and you're just going to get that top end of the shroud over the lower upper tube assembly ring. All right, the lower ring, which because the upper tube assembly is upside down, is now the ring that's sitting on top. Right, the upper tube assembly is upside down. So this is really the lower ring, uh, but it's facing upward uh, at this point. We're gonna feed that over. And we're gonna work the whole shroud. Notice I pulled the whole shroud over this ring right here. Okay, so now we've got the whole shroud on there and we're gonna take and flip it back over. Okay. Now, depending on the dimensions of your upper tube assembly, and actually the rest of your telescope too, the lower end as well, 
um, this lower end of the shroud all right, may be a lot bigger than the top end. So it may end up doing this, where you pick up the upper tube assembly and it kind of drapes down and falls down. All right, so that would make installing the upper tube assembly difficult on top of the poles on the truss uh, section of your telescope. So what I do then is you feel around, you get the lower end of the shroud, right? and you can feel the lower end because it has an elastic band sewn into it. Take that lower end and pull it up. Pull it up and over, up and over, up and over. So there you go. And then you can leave the focuser exposed and maybe your finder telescope uh, brackets, they are exposed as well. But you just want probably, I'd say three quarters of the shroud um, in terms of the circumference coming up and over. Now what that does, you can now take your upper tube assembly and you now have access to the mounting blocks. All right, they are now unobstructed uh, from the light shroud when you go to then install the upper tube assembly on top of your truss poles. Um, and then at that point, what you do with this installed on top of the truss poles, you then take and work this down. All right, you work it down over the truss poles and take it all the way uh, to the bottom. Then when you're done observing for the night, you take the upper tube assembly off. After you work the shroud up, you then work it back up here, and then you take the upper tube assembly off, and you put it in your vehicle, or you bring it in the house or in the garage, and that's how you leave it while it's stored until the next time you go to observe. Uh, there's really no reason to take this completely off of the telescope. You can leave it like this on the upper tube assembly. That way, when you go to put it back on, the telescope, all you have to do is just take it down and work it down uh, the truss poles all the way down there. All right, so that to me uh, is a lot more simple than uh, taking the shroud completely off the telescope every time, or what some people have tried to do is work the shroud over the top ring, over the focuser, over the finder down to the bottom ring and then down over the truss poles. Um, or they try to put the shroud on the truss poles before they put the upper tube assembly on. Uh, that's going to pull the truss poles in, all right? And that would make it extremely difficult uh, to install the upper tube assembly then on top of the poles that are compressed inward because the shroud is compressing it, uh, compressing them inward. All right, so again, this is what I find to be the most um, easy uh, way uh, for installing the light shroud on the upper tube assembly. And I will tell you what, here we go, let's try this. Everybody hang on. We're gonna rotate around here. Okay. We're gonna take a look here. Uh, we have a set of truss poles uh, set up. All right, and we're going to take this upper tube assembly and I'll show you. We're going to put this upper tube assembly on on the truss poles. Okay. Might as well do it this way. All right, so here we go. We're going to tighten up these truss blocks, these Aurora Precision truss blocks. Very nice. Here we go. Uh, these are the ones we use on all of our Teeters telescopes. I'm going to lock down. All of these, and then we got a couple over here on the other side. Okay, tighten. There you go, that's tight. Maybe this one's tight. Okay, so now we have the upper tube assembly on the telescope. Now, I'm gonna take and work the shroud down from the upper tube and take it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now when you're done observing for the night, Lift the shroud up and pull the lower end of the shroud all the way up. Pull all the way up, bunch it around the bottom of the telescope. And then to keep it from flopping around, throw it over the top, up there. Okay, and then you can take the upper tube assembly off and you leave the shroud on there. So the shroud never has to leave the upper tube assembly once you get it on there uh, initially. Uh, once you get it on there, it stays on there. 
and uh, that's what we find works best for us. All right, so hopefully it works for you guys too. Any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us here, uh, either to Heather or myself here at the Teeter's Telescopes Workshop. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.